Jordan, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to Brainsplain. Thank you. What do you know about synthetic marijuana? Like, I don't personally think marijuana is bad, but there are, of course, synthetic marijuanas that are. From experience of my little brother taking K2, we were walking just down the street. He kind of seemed normal and fine, but he just fell straight back, and I didn't really know what to do. I was kind of scared, and um, of course, I called my mom and called the ambulance, and there were people kind of coming out of their houses and um, across the street. At least there was a guy, a couple, and um, they were older, and they came over, asked if he was all right, and I told them that I had no clue. He, of course, when he woke up at the hospital, he told us that um, that he was with some some of his friends, and of course they were like, "Oh, you should try this uh, this weed," and blah blah blah. And, um, he was just like, "Okay, whatever." And then apparently they didn't tell him that it was K2 after. Do you know what they did for him at the hospital? I don't. Um, I know that I know that he was asleep for 11 hours. Um, which I think technically at that point it's called coma. I know that they um, hooked him up with IVs to keep him hydrated and everything like that. And those are typical things they'll do, they'll keep somebody, hook somebody up to IVs. They might put a tube in to help them breathe. There's a journal that's coming out later this week in Pediatric Emergency Care, a medical journal, studying 75 different cases of kids between the ages of 13 and 19 who presented to the emergency department after taking synthetic marijuana. Mm -hmm. And the hope of this study was to identify a set of symptoms that would allow providers to figure out what drug people had taken if they'd taken a mystery drug. And of course, just like marijuana, it'll cause a sense of euphoria, it can cause kind of an out-of-body feeling, it can make your eyes bloodshot and increase appetite. But they were hoping to, to zero in on very specific toxic effects. Mm -hmm. And the bad news is that it didn't have a consistent profile. Twelve percent of the people who came to the emergency room ended up looking like they'd taken Xanax, a sedative, something mm -hmm. that calms them down, chills them out. Nine percent ended up looking like they'd taken cocaine, a stimulant that excites them, speeds up the heart rate. And so the moral of the story is it's going to be really hard to tell if this drug keeps being popular, who has taken it and who hasn't just by looking at the patient. Some of the toxic effects were scary. 15% of the people who came to the hospital had seizure. 29% of them had very serious central nervous system depression along the lines of just being terribly out of it, perhaps needing to be intubated, a tube put in their throat to help them breathe. Some of them had coma. So extremely toxic effects, but not consistent ones. I think people should know about synthetic marijuana being bad, and I think just based on, to talk, on talking to people, it sounds like people are starting to get the word, this is something to avoid. It might be cheaper, it might be able to pass a urine drug test, but it could cause seizures and it could put you into a coma. Yeah. Scary stuff. Definitely. Well, Jordan, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.